Recall from the previous video that we worked on the profit of the first company by taking into account the price when both companies produce and the quantity that the company produces itself. Now, with the same logic, we're going to do the profit of the second company now, differentiate that and see what's going to be the relationship between Q2 and Q1. And we'll see something similar because it's going to be very similar to what we had before. So let's write it here below the profit of the second company like that. Uh, profit of the second company will be the total revenue that the second company produces minus the total cost of the second company. So we will have the price of the second company, of the second firm. Let me not repeat the same word all the time. So that's price times the quantity of the second player in the market minus the total cost of production, which is going to be the marginal cost of 2 euros. Recall that that was marginal cost equals to 2 and it's also for the second firm as well. So it's going to be marginal cost of two for every unit of production. So that's going to be two times the quantity of the second player, Q2. Now the price, the price was the following. Let's just go back and recall it. It's eight minus Q1 minus Q2. So let's write it, let's write it there as well. We will have profit of the second firm profit of the second firm and we have here 8 minus Q1 minus Q2 times Q2 minus 2 times the quantity of the second player. Now let's open the brackets just like we did before. We'll multiply 8 with Q2. So that's 8 times Q2 minus Q1 times Q2, Q1 times Q2 and then minus Q2 times Q2. So that's quantity of the second player squared and then minus the cost. So minus 2 times Q2. Now if we if we subtract here, we have 8 quantity of the second company minus 2 times the quantity of the second company. That's 6 times Q2 minus Q1 times Q2 minus Q2 squared. Now what we notice is again we have a function of the profit depending on the quantity of the second player which is going to be a parabola with a con concave shape. So again we are looking for the peak of the graph where the slope is equal to 0 which means that we're going to differentiate the profit of the second player with respect to the quantity that it produces with respect to the quantity of the second player, make that equal to zero, make that slope equal to zero, the derivative must be zero. So if we differentiate it, what do we get? We will have the following. Six times Q2 derivative with respect to Q2, that's equal to six, minus Q1 times Q2 derivative with respect to Q2, that's equal to Q1, minus Q2 squared derivative with respect to Q2, that's going to be 2 times Q2 equals to 0. Now recall that we're looking for the quantity of the second player, we're looking for this term. So let's take it to the other side, which means we will have 6 minus Q1, 6 minus Q1 is equal to 2 times Q2. If we divide both sides by 2, we will have 6 minus Q1 divided by 2 equals to the quantity of the second player and that will be the quantity of the second player in equilibrium quantity of the second player in equilibrium will be 3 minus 1 over 2 quantity of the first player now notice this is again a relationship that we were looking for this is again a relationship where we said that to maximize the profit of the second player we need the quantity of the second player depending on the quantity of the first player and that's what we have now if we look at both of them we have the quantity of the first player over here, 3 minus 1 over 2 Q2, and the quantity of the second player is 3 minus 1 over 2 Q1. So it is symmetrical. They both have the same function depending on each other. Why? Because they're both rational and they decide simultaneously at the same time. That's why they end up with the same uh, reaction function, so to speak. They react to the quantity that each of them produces. Now to finish off the question, let's just substitute this quantity into the quantity of the first player, find that and then we'll do the same for quantity two. So let me zoom out to make the connection here like that. So we're gonna substitute, we're gonna substitute this, this into here in the quantity of the second player, which means that the quantity of the first player will be equal to three minus one over two times quantity of the second player. It's a function of the quantity of the first player. So it's three minus one over two Q1. Now we did so because now we have an equation with one variable only, it's Q1 and Q1. So we'll have to solve one equation with one variable and we'll find an answer. Let's open the brackets first. So Q1 is three minus one over two times three. So we'll have one over two times three. 
and then minus 1 over 2 times minus 1 over 2 q1 will be plus 1 over 4 q1 what do we have we have q1 here 1 over 4 q1 over there let's take it to the other side let's take it there q1 minus 1 over 4 q1 is going to be 3 over 4 times q1 and then here we have 3 minus a half times 3 so 3 minus 1.5 because a half of 3 is 1.5 is going to be equal to 1.5 um, 3 minus 1.5 yes so q1 will be equal to 1.5 divided by 3 over 4 which is the same as multiplying with 4 over 3 now 1.5 and 3 cancel out again this will be left with 2 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 so we have two units of production for the quantity of the first company now this two units let's substitute it into the quantity of the second player over here over here and see what's what's gonna be well the quantity of the second player now is gonna be equal to 3 minus 1 over 2 times 2 because that's the quantity of the first player cancel out something over there 2 and 2 we're left with 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 so what we can see is that the reaction functions were the same they both uh, calculated in the same way to produce their optimal outputs and the outputs in the end are also the same so two units for each player now to finish the question also let's see what's going to be the price in the market at that level the price is equal to 8 minus the quantity of each firm so this is the price function over here uh, let me just go over here to capture the price this is the price that we are looking for it's 8 minus q1 minus q2 so it's 8 minus 2 minus 2 meaning we'll have a price in the market of 4 hope this makes sense in the next video we're gonna see how this differs from Stuckelberg which is not gonna be a static game theory but a dynamic game theory